guys and we are into a new day today and I really hope you guys enjoyed the last video we put up of ripping series gray around. Uh, today we are going to get back onto Travis's build. As I mentioned in the video before this, we need to pull off the intercooler piping kit because we haven't got our kit from ETS. So we need to pull that off, get that on Travis's car. And I haven't driven or done anything with Travis's car since I showed you guys the video of it starting up. So we need to get the piping kit on the car and get those break-in miles done. Uh, just the first 50 mile break-in so we can change the oil, get the reins of seat, all that good stuff. So to get the day started out, we need to move the white STI. There will be more coming on this car soon. I know we've just been tied up, guys. We've been getting work knocked out. I still have a video to put up of that car as well. You guys will see here soon. So I'm just getting caught up. There is videos of the FAWX as well. And those will be coming up here soon for you guys. But like I said, we need to get going on Travis's car today. That's gonna be fun. And we're gonna get series gray out of the garage. I do need to start cleaning up the garage again. It's not bad, but we've been doing a lot of work out of here. So we need to just clean up the side, clean up the floor, get stuff cleaned up. So I'm gonna move the cars, get the garage cleaned up, and I'm gonna back series gray in. That way I can get the front of the car pulled apart for the piping, and you guys will watch us do it. So let's get to it, guys.
smell. What do you want? I want E85. Don't we all? Let's do a cold start on this. This thing has not even been driven one mile. So we're gonna let it warm up just for a moment right now before I try to move it. Yeah, about 20 feet. Holy crap, you sit close to the steering wheel. Let's see how she does on this cold start here, boys. Come on, girl. Same warm up for a moment and then I'll get it moved into the driveway. Woo! Today's the day. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm actually kind of surprised it hasn't done that bog down thing yet. Nah. Yeah, no, I'm excited. She's I'm, liking the new cam. I'm so ready to drive my car. Alright guys, go ahead and take a look at his Instagram. We're trying to get him over to a thousand followers on. Look at that, I can't even point. This is a small phone. We're trying to get a thousand followers on here. So go ahead and follow Onyx STI and you'll see more on his build. Once I break a thousand, I'll start doing some hooding and stuff and posting Ooh. videos. Yeah. For those that couldn't see in the video or how clear it is, it's on the car. There you go. Go ahead and give him a follow, guys, if you want to see more on Travis's build. But let's just take a moment to enjoy that cam look. Alright guys, just listen to the turbo on this thing. I know I showed it before, but he's going to open up the hood for us and I'm going to show you guys how much air this thing actually is blowing right now. Alright, here's a piece of paper. Now look at this. We tried. Yep. Fail. Oh well. Ooh, listen to that lope though, boys. That never gets old. Oh man, what about that cam walk? Are you sure this is a Subaru? I don't know, it might be a V8. Yeah, this doesn't sound like a Subaru. No, it sounds like an Evo. <laughs> it's about to gap all them Evos. Oh, you popped the hood and it was an LS. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get this car pulled in the driveway, guys. It's warmed up enough. We don't want to just let it sit there and idle, anyways, when we haven't seen the rings. So let's move her into the driveway. Woo! Still has the check engine light on for the intake air temp sensor. And it probably is gonna have some troubles idling, guys, because we haven't put the new map on it for the idle and the new cam gears. So let's see if I can get this thing to cooperate with me here. Hi, Bob. Gonna idle. We'll try. Let's see what happens. 
Nope. Oh well. All right, guys, let's get to work. I try to get her to idle. If you could hear that from the outside, I wish it sounded like that all the time. Just as soon as you press on the gas, it's well, just sucking air. Because the the throttle. Oh, I didn't even open the hood. The throttle body this. kept sounding like it was supercharged every time you hit the gas, <laughs> and you just hear that turbo just try and take off every time. Oh, she might sound like that for now on. Oh, that would be amazing. We don't even know what to do right now. It would be scared. Oh yeah. I as I hear it, sounds like a pro charge STI. Should we do it? Hmm. I mean, we could. We're gonna send it. I think one of these days we need to do a, uh, a flat six twin turbo. If maybe not twin big single. Just maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do a turbo on each headlight, guys. Oh. Exhaust out both sides. That's what you could either do. Talked about doing. Either do a turbo in each headlight or do it and replace the fog covers. Just have them down there. Do custom fog covers. Boom. And turbos down there. <laughs> Two bullhorns. Oh jeez. <laughs> Look at this truck. It was like mint condition the other day and something happened. And I'm not sure what quite happened. I'm trying not to let him see him record him. But this thing is hammered, boys. It looks like he like he got rear-ended. Like Look at it's broken out windows. Yeah, oh man. Like when I was turning around, I was kind of going slow because that neighbor right there was coming in and she did not look amused at all of what was going on. Oh, I saw. I was just trying to turn around. You see guys see what I deal up here? Yeah, but this thing, like, blah, blah. Yeah. All right, enough talk. I'm talking to you guys zero. All right. Let's get this thing opened up. Time to get this piping kit off of here and get it on to Travis's car so we can get these braking miles done. I really hope I don't have to pull the intake manifold off, and I'm thinking I'm going to have to, to get this pipe in here because it's kind of a tight fit. But I'm going to try it without, and let's get to it. we got it guys we are ready to get this piping kit onto Travis's car so now it's just reverse order really hoping I don't have to pull that intake manifold off though because that will be a chore 
Let's get to it. Let's find out. Brief interruption in our little intercooler piping session we got. What in the world do you have there? Finally got the 17s for the drag ring. You said for what? Slicks. What are we doing? Wheels for slicks. We're putting what? Slicks? Ooh, that's right, boys. Yeah. We got slicks for this girl. You want to open it up and see? Oh, yeah, we want to open this up, don't we, guys? Let's see what this is. Come on. All right, let's go. This ain't opened up. We're trying to see what's in this thing. Now you just gotta find the razor blade. That's a good question. How about this? Well, I found the razor blade. Wow. Well, you're going to work. Yeah. You gotta get in here. Kid and Christmas right here. Dude, it's been Christmas the last two weeks. Literally. Oh man. Here's the moment. You guys wanna see which wheel we got? Went to Fast WX. Woo! Got the Mach Look 5. at those. Yeah. It is one of three wheels that I've been able to find on the internet. It will actually clear the 18 plus STI six pots. Those look nice though. I like those. I am pretty damn excited that it actually clears. Well, I mean, we got tests though, but. Ooh, nice, that's what we got guys. That's what you need. Where's the box? If anyone's curious, which I don't know if they'll say on here, oh, oh it that. does. There is the information for the wheel, and why don't we just go get one of those slicks to show these guys what we're gonna be using. I'm down for that. All right, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna grab them real quick. I'll bring them right back out. Here we are. Bam! What we got there? Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. Travis bought these a while back for me. They were on the Evo. And these are going to be working perfect for the same because obviously you guys know 18s have the bigger brakes. They got six pot Brembos, so they are larger. Makes it a little bit harder. We can't run the same setup that we run on Hyper Blue, but this will work. What does that say? Hoosier! Yeah. Who's your daddy? It's gonna be great. I'll show a lot Look of these. Is their daddy? Woo! So these wild. classify actually as drag radials, guys. You can run these on the street. They are, they can get balanced as well. So that's the nice thing about these. That's the plan. But they're a cheater slick. That's just what they are. So with these, you only have a couple millimeters of clearance. So whenever you do get them, if and if when you do get them balanced, you have to make sure that they put the wheel weights inside yeah. where the caliper is not going to make contact with them. So you only well, get about three millimeters clearance. Well, he's talking about here. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's less than 18 pounds. That thing feels light. So we're going to be putting the weights over here. Usually the stick-on style, and put them right down in this beveled lip here. And even if you did them here, they would be fine. But that's what he's talking about because how close the caliper is going to come to these is going to be really close. Kind of like on Hyper Blue, it's you can't even put a piece of paper between it. No, it's so insane. this is going to look awesome on here, and I can't wait to show you guys. We will be putting these on soon just to keep you guys updated. And I know he wants to do a test hit in Mexico, so oh, okay. he's waiting on the other three of these today. Somehow he's managed to get one wheel. Yeah, I don't know how that worked out. I don't know how that works out either. It's just a teaser, but I mean, at least we got to see one. These are nice quality wheels though. Yeah, they are. I like that. I like the style. Uh, FastWX.com is where I picked them up. I'll go ahead and put it down in the description for you guys. That way you can see if you want to get one of these for your 18 plus STI and you're trying to do drag radials or slicks. Uh, it's just nice to go to a 17 inch because you have a lot more tire options and you get a lot more sidewall, and that's what you want when you go to a slick or a drag radial. Drag radial, not so much. I know that term kind of is different, but for a slick, you want it to wrinkle. These will do that. So this is it, guys. Ready to get this piping on? Mm-hmm. All right, back to it. Let's go struggle bus underneath this intake. Not looking good. Probably going to pull the intake manifold. Let's see. Nope. 
No. Oh, you're going in. It's going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he went in. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. The perfect amount of room? Literally, it just went right in. Man. Oh, come on, dude. Sorry. I could have showed you a trick. They don't even have the little tab on the top. Well, Travis is just finishing up the intercooler piping kit. Your intake or temp sensor is right down here. It's, she's chilling down there. Yeah, so we need to pull that up and route that over. I just got the map for this thing. So I'm going to put it on the car. We're going to let it warm up, and we're going to knock out these freaking miles, guys. And the camera looks like it's actually... Almost dead. Gosh dang it. I need to buy another battery for this thing. Because I gotta plug this in so we can have it for our drive. It's finally time, guys. First drive. Let's get it. New map is on the car. And just listen to the idle, guys. Who doesn't want their Subaru to sound like this? I mean, come on. Let's go guys. You can feel it so much in the car. Woo! And I'm excited because I just figured out how to change up my settings on that screen. Yeah, you can change the shift light and everything. Yeah, no, that makes Not that the shift light affects us anymore. Right. But <laughs> we only shift light for max. I got 10% on the camera, 9% now, so probably gonna be pretty short film clips for you guys. But we're gonna go knock these 50 miles out on this motor. Go ahead and reset the trip. That, that told me my total miles. Oh, on yeah. the car. <laughs> Hi, I'm that guy. I just came over here. He's just like, that, that was my total no. miles on the car. I was about to reset Since anyways. I bought it. Yeah, I know. But it's okay. We're gonna go get this drive done. Let's see. Hopefully, the idle will hold itself. We might have to bump it up a little bit. This is just the first map revision. But I think he took a lot of things over from Series Grey because it seems like it's doing really well. Yeah. But yeah, let's go get some gas in this thing and we'll go knock this drive out. I'm gonna be showing you guys some clips of him doing the break-in process. I'm gonna walk him through a lot of it here. He knows how, but we'll just be doing it for you guys so that way you guys can see. We did make a video on this before for Series Grey, so I'll go ahead and link that up in the side for you guys if you want to check that out as well. And this will be a different one for this car. But here we go. It's so different than your clutch. Oh, I bet. 100% <laughs> triple disc for ACT. Yeah, now I have to actually lift like a quarter of the way for a 2 gauge. Car feels good. It's a million degrees in here because I have heat on. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. Woo. Ah, brand new guy. Why not just go? Now you're perfect. But cool. All right, well, well, we still got battery. Look at that. Yeah. She's My idling. questions for you. Yeah, let's ask these questions. All right, so I've broken in the engine before. I used a different tuner. Yep. And uh, my question is, your process for breaking in an engine. He had always told me, try not to keep a consistent RPM for too long. Always be yep. shifting, speeding up, slowing down. Yep. Uh, I was told the best thing is kind of in town, stop and go kind of driving where you're constantly changing yep. RPMs. And that is definitely true, guys. I do agree with a lot of what he's saying there. Uh, the only thing that separates my break-in process, especially on race motors, similar to this one, I'm not having them do a 2,500 mile break-in on the car. Uh, we're Obviously, we're going down to Portland, I haven't told you guys, for the dyno trip, Sunday. And today is Thursday. Yep. We're 
breaking in the car right now. I still have the full fuel system to put in the car tomorrow and make sure the car is dialed to leave Saturday. So we're kind of on a time crunch here. I'm getting this thing going, but what that's gonna kind of return to is the car's gonna have about, I would say five to 600 miles on it before it hits the dial. Somewhere in that range, we're gonna do the first 50 miles right now, just consistent. We're going to get gas, obviously, and we're gonna be compression braking. So that's the biggest thing I'm gonna be having to do is just kind of revving up and down, compression braking, showing us some RPM. And we are gonna be introducing it to boost today. Uh, at the, towards the end of the 50 miles, depending on how the car is, we probably will be introducing it to full boost and making sure the car is being driven the way it's gonna be driven its whole life. So that way, if we have a problem, it's gonna show now. We were not waiting around. You know, we're 2,500 miles in, we turn the car up, and then we have a problem. No, it's gonna show itself right now. So we're gonna make sure the car is solid, and we're gonna get the scene broken. So it let's go. Sorry, talk about show me boost. <laughs> With these cam gears and the cams, it's it's hard not to show a boost. Yeah. Without even trying, I hit one and a half psi. Yep. So and that's that's fine, guys. Um, I definitely believe in breaking in the motor the way we're gonna use it. Uh, I've always believed in that. So like what he's doing right now, going into booze and coming out, I'm a believer in that. And then just compression braking when we come to a stop, that's what you really wanna do. But we don't have much battery here, so I'm gonna let us get some gas and then we'll kinda touch base on this more. Seeing quickly why I don't like doing this in town, huh? Yeah. You traffic, speeding up, slowing down, speed limits. Yep, you feel like a complete dick. I'm sure they are not happy back there, but we gotta do what we gotta do. This motor's worth about their whole car, so we gotta make sure she seats in right. We got Subi Bros staring. What's up, dude? <laughs> well, we're about to be out to our country, Mexico road, and we'll be able to knock out this break in more, and I'll be able to show you guys a little bit more. One of us dingleberries forgot to tighten an intercooler pipe. One of us. We figured Find that out, out real quick. So let's see what's going on here. She had 25 pounds, just barely tipping into her. Let's see what's going on. 25 pounds. Which one is it today? Powder tight. Oh hmm. man. Well, we'll find it. Give me a second. The battery's about to die on the camera. Oh, we figured out which dingleberry it was. I'm sorry, I'm a rookie. This guy. <laughs> we didn't tighten the inner core clamp right there. So I'm holding the cover. We're gonna drive it back. We're gonna fix that. Let the battery charge on the camera and we'll come back out and finish this breaking. That's how it goes, guys. No big deal. It's just an inner core pipe. Ugh. Felt really good while doing it though. Oh, she felt great. She started to growl. <laughs> yeah, she, she touched 25 pounds. Yeah. Motor's doing awesome, guys. She's becoming more and more responsive, doing exactly what it should. So we're just gonna cruise her back. We'll fix this and we'll come back out and finish up this break in. See how many miles we put on it? Like 10 miles. We are back, guys. We're gonna get this bumper pulled off. We're gonna fix that clamp oh, yeah. on the inner core. And I'm going to let this thing charge because we are at 2% and that's not going to do very well. So let me let this charge and we'll come back out. Got the car back together and that really wasn't very much charge time for the camera. But just listen to that warm idle guys. Oh yeah, can't get enough of that. Woo! Let's go. Compression braking, guys, and we're going through and breaking her in. She is doing good. Kind of got back out to the back roads here. Didn't want to bore you guys going through town, but so my buddy with the E30 lives about 15 miles down this road. Oh, so you're familiar with this road? Yeah, it looks like a nice road. road. You'll really enjoy all the corners. So on this, guys, there is nothing better than a Garrett Turbo and a tile wall valve. <laughs> we don't even have the custom screen set up in it because obviously this is grazed by me, but just listen to this. Oh, she just sounds so good.
RPM guys. He's over here, I'll zoom in. Hopefully it'll change. He's just engine braking right now. Introducing the car to boost. We have a small 14.5 miles on it right now.
hit our turnaround point. So we are turning around and heading back. Oh, come on. Doing my best not to kill it. <laughs> Well guys, we're back. Travis has got to roll out. He's got work. We are rushing it. Later. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, sounds good. I'm going to show them that we got our 50 miles on here for you guys. 51.5 miles. And boy, does she sound good, guys. So now it is time to change the oil. I'm going to let the camera charge too. But we'll start her up. I'll let you guys hear. sound for our other charge Woo! let's get that oil changed guys well guys that's gonna end out the video for Travis's car today I hope you guys enjoyed going through another break-in process with us and he was really enjoying his car so I hope you guys get to enjoy see how excited he was kind of hear us talk about the build and well we got a lot of work to do because we're leaving on Saturday some point in time, probably, I'm guessing, Monday. I don't know why I said Monday. Saturday morning um, to go to the Portland to get on the dyno on Sunday. So, today being Thursday, that means tomorrow we have one more day to get this thing ready. And we got to put a whole fuel system in the car. So, that's going to be a, a lot of work. But, I'm going to see you guys bright and early in the morning. And we're going to knock it out. Have a good night, guys.